Hey, hello. Welcome to Science Chef Chorus. In this video, we are going to see about differential extraction, which is otherwise called as solvent extraction or liquid-liquid extraction, which is another separation technique. So, in this technique, what we will do is, we will be separating out the components of a mixture according to its solubility. What is the solubility? The ability of a substance to get dissolved in another substance, we call it as solubility. For example, how do we make a solution? We take a solute and mix it up with a solvent so that we get a solution. So in this case, solute will be in the lesser quantity, solvent will be in like larger quantity. So thus we are getting a solution. So let us take an example and clearly understand this differential extraction or solvent extraction. So before going to this experiment, I just want to tell a small story where a person named Raju is there and he is having a good friend. His name is Sam. So these two are good friends. This Raju is having another very close friend named Arul. So that this Raju is always more comfortable with Arul than with Sam. But still, Raju and Sam are good friends. So by taking this story we'll just go to this experiment i'm having a mixture where we have benzaldehyde sodium benzoate and water in it now i want to separate this out benzaldehyde separately and sodium benzoate separately for for my research purpose so what i'll do is if you see we have water in this mixture so whenever there is a presence of water or when a substance is being mixed up with water, we call that solution as aqueous solution. So that's why I have written it as aqueous layer. So I am taking this mixture in a separating funnel and I am taking another solvent in the same separating funnel that is ether. So why do I take ether is that this benzaldehyde is soluble in water but still it is more soluble and more comfortable with ether like Raju who is very comfortable with Arul than Sam. So the same way what is happening is that we are and keep in your mind when we are taking this mixture and as well as the solvent the solvent and mixture should be immiscible in nature that is they should not get mixed up but they should form two distinct layers so when we are taking these two things that is the solvent layer and the aqueous layer in the separating funnel once you pour these two things we should shake vigorously such that you get two distinct layers that is ether layer and another one is our mixture which is the aqueous layer. Now, once you uh, keep this, what is happening after some time? This is before extraction. After some time, if you see the benzaldehyde, which is more soluble in ether, comes and dissolve in the ether solvent. So now in this layer, that is the ether layer will be benzaldehyde and ether and Sodium benzoate is more soluble in water than the ether. So it is getting dissolved in the water itself. That is sodium benzoate and water which is the aqueous layer. Since the presence of water is there, I, am, I have written it as aqueous layer. Now successfully we have separated this benzaldehyde and sodium benzoate in the separating funnel. Now what should I do? These two are immiscible liquids so they are um, existing as two distinct layers. So what now I should do is I will be opening this such that all the aqueous layer is coming down and we are taking it in a small beaker so that all the aqueous layer comes down to this beaker and I am having only this benzaldehyde and ether solvent. Now I will be having two beakers one with the ether layer another one with the aqueous layer this ether layer consists of benzaldehyde and this aqueous layer consists of sodium benzoate now i want only benzaldehyde what will i do we know that ether is having a boiling point around 36.4 degree celsius this is the boiling point of ether by doing distillation process i'll be able to separate out this 
ether and benzaldehyde such that successfully i am getting only the benzaldehyde as the last product so by this way we will be able to separate out the liquids according to its solubilities clear so this is all about differential extraction thank you